Well, this is very unusual for me. You're actually seeing me out and about in the car today. <laughs> it's kind of a different, um, it's kind of a different backdrop from being stuck indoors and sitting on the sofa. But then, you know, to be fair, that was a chilled Sunday. So I was kind of relaxing there. And I did have the dogs with me and the kids. So I had to entertain them as well all day. And, uh, you know, apart from going out for the occasional walk, it was miserable out there. It was absolutely rubbish. So we stayed inside. Um, yeah, I'm out and about today. Hazel, we just dropped the kids off at school. It's my day off. It always seems like it's my day off. I know it does to you guys, but it, I promise you it isn't like that. It is sporadic, my days off. And uh, I just uh, obviously video when I'm, when I'm having days off, which is one why I'm here today doing this lovely, lovely vlog and video. So I don't know if today's going to contain too much. I have got an idea that there are some videos that I want to do in the future about Hertfordshire, about uh, local um, customs and also local myth and folklore. Um, I think that should be quite good. Um, I've got a lot of information at home about the um, various hauntings and also myth and folklore of Hertfordshire. So that should be good for a, for a fair few vlogs, I would imagine. That's if you guys are interested. I hope you are. Um, if you're like me and you're just interested in history and you're interested in the customs and the folklore of our great nation, then, uh, yeah, hopefully you'll you'll enjoy them. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see. Um, got a camp coming up in a few weeks. Um, I'm off camping with some lovely people. I'm not going to mention who they are yet. That'll be a bit of a surprise for you uh, when, when, they go, when the vlogs go up. Um, but they are lovely, lovely individuals, and they're also YouTubers. Um, I don't know what the year's going to hold in the way of camping, but I am intent on getting a lot more use out of my camper van than, than I have in the last year. Um, I've used it. It's been great on occasion for taking the kids out and doing things and doing the occasional camp, but I really, my intent is to really go for it this year and do a lot more camping. Obviously, the weather's a bit nasty at the moment, and I'm a little bit of a fair-weather camper, to be fair. Um, as I say, I, before, I used to do a lot of... Um, I used to... Well, I, didn't, I did a fair bit of wild camping, and um, I was belonged to a group. We used to go out, and we used to have a camp in the woods um, that were actually where they're allowed, we were allowed to use because on the farmer's permission. And we used to camp there quite a lot. So I did a lot of that. But I find as I get older with rheumatism and the cold and all sorts of middle-aged ailments that I require a softer bed and a warmer environment to sleep in. Although I'm not past the camping out in tents, I will still be doing that again in the future. Just haven't done it for a while. Um, I've got all the kit. What's they say? All the gear, no idea. That's what they say, isn't it? <laughs> Could be applicable to me. I don't know. You'll have to judge me on that when you see me do them. But I'm going to wait for the weather to turn a little bit nicer because it's just not there yet. And then um, then, then I'll hopefully get out and do a few vlogs of the wild camping. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. As I say, I'm ancient and arthritic now, or if I feel it anyway. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. Um, what else? Just that was it, really, for the vlogs, I think. There will be um, some more paranormal ones going up on this channel. I've got a video to put up on mine and Gary's channel, which is uh, Paranormal Elite UK. If you're not on that one, pop over there. It belongs to me and Gary, uh, my mate, my very, very good friend um, and uh, paranormal partner. So we'll be going, we'll be doing a lot on that. And I'll be just jaunting around the country with the kids and, and adding vlogs like that. Anyway, I think I've done all this before. I'm just kind of reiterating. I'm going over old ground now. Um, I'm looking at a, another dog um, because I love Lily to distraction. You know I do, and and she's she's my everything really. Don't tell the hose and the kids that. Um, but the thing is that she doesn't really like going out camping. She doesn't well. She doesn't like going out on long drives in vans, and she doesn't she doesn't enjoy it. So. Um, Subsequently, I'm looking at another dog that I can take out with me. Uh, it's going to be a rescue dog. I'm not going down the route of buying a dog. I mean, why would anybody buy an animal when there's plenty of animals out there that that won't need rescuing? Unless, of course, you're after a specific breed. Um, and even then, you know, the opportunities do arise. It's probably just best to wait until one comes available. And, uh, yeah, all of our animals really are rescue. 
and that's uh, that's what I'll be doing, looking for something like I used to have, as you saw in my, if you watched my vlogs and you saw in my last one, I used to have a Jack Russell that was super, super friendly, um, but was just a bit of an arse. It was a typical Jack Russell, really. It was just a bit, you know, you knew it was there, even though you couldn't see it because it was tiny. And it was just this full of itself, really, like a typical Jack Russell. But occasionally the odd Jack Russell turns up that's like Oscar, that is chilled and relaxed. And I'm going to kind of, I would love another Jack Russell, I really would. I'm not sure Hazel would be that keen on it because of her past experience. Now I can tell you, now that she's not here, the last Jack Russell we had, who was, um, who was Lizzie, my little Jack Russell, Hazel couldn't stand her. And she, the, the feeling was mutual. She could not stand Hazel. She hated her. Absolutely. She'd get into the point where she'd rip everything of Hazel's up. <laughs> she wouldn't touch anything of mine. And if on occasion in the early days she did, I never really reprimanded her for it because she's, you know, she's a baby. And um, that's what pups do. And, uh, yeah, and she kind of, it, it became very apparent and clear that she had it in for Hazel. She just did not like Hazel. And um, she was great with me. She'd come and sit with me and she'd be all... She'd sort of fawn all over me and she'd be very loving and very sweet and cute. And with Hazel, she would this dog would turn into a demon dog. I mean, you you was it was it was kind of funny to watch, but it wasn't funny. It was funny from the point of, you know, how a little dog that's come into this world that isn't very old could could make such a strong opinion against another individual and a, a hateful opinion. Um I don't know what it was. I think it's because Hazel never really it liked her from the start. She wasn't really... She's not really a Jack Russell person, Hazel. She likes um, a bigger dog, as it were. But uh, we're well, not too big. I mean, she had a dog called Charlie. And Charlie was quite cute. Um, but he looked like he was made of fuzzy felt. He was a rescue dog. And she had him for, I don't know, maybe 12, 14 years. She had him for quite a while. And uh, he was a lovely dog. But he passed away, sadly. Um, but he was another rescue. He came from Wood Green Rescue Centre. But anyway, getting back to Lizzie, Lizzie could not stand Hazel. She would rip all her stuff up. She, If I let her out to have a wee, she'd go out, she'd have a wee, she'd have a poo, and then she'd come back in. Um, she was delightful on walks with me. But if Hazel took her out, she'd play Hazel up. If Hazel let her into the garden, she'd come get out in the garden, come back in, and then wee and poo on the floor. And of course, her, that that was Hazel wasn't having that. You know, she said that I can't understand how the dog doesn't get it. It's quite unusual and odd because the dog certainly got it when I put her outside, um, or I took her out for a walk. So yeah, I don't know. But anyway, we'll see. I am desperate to get another dog because I do want to get one that's that's going to accompany me on journeys and camping and just be a be a companion, really. Um, you know. Like the doctor, like Doctor Who's companion. I want a, I want a little furry one. So we'll have to see what what transpires here. But I've got to keep my eyes open and uh, I keep my finger on the pulse of a lot of these rescue centres. And you know, it's very hard to rescue a dog. There's lots of sort of, if you pardon the pun, there's lots of hoops you got to jump through. Just like you would a dog, like a dog would. But um. It, it's worth doing, it's worth waiting, it's worth going through it. And, you know, these people that that, re that give you the dogs, that say that you're okay or not to rescue them, always be guided by their uh, their experience and, and what they tell you because they know the dog a lot better than you do, so they, therefore they know the situation. So that's why I'm willing to wait. I'm willing to wait, and uh, we'll see how that transpires. Right, that's nine minutes of me banging on about nothing again. Uh, it's Monday. I hope you have a good Monday and I'll speak to you a little bit later. Bye.